Welcome back, guys. So we're going to continue on in the process of creating our new ca our category inside the database. Uh, for this one, I want to simply create the model for our category. Okay. So currently, all we have inside our models directory is we have this users model. But we have to create the category. So let's go ahead and create that. Go ahead and do new file and we'll do capital letter C and then category.js. And capital, uh, the capitalization is just uh, standard when you're creating models. Okay, so now let's go ahead and we're going to have to import Mongoose because we're using Mongoose. I'm going to require Mongoose. All right, the next thing is let's get started making our schema and I'm gonna call this uh, underscore, underscore category and then schema, okay? And we're creating a new instance of mongoose and schema and then this one takes an argument, an object as an argument and let's create all of our types. So this one's pretty simple. All we need is really just the category, right? That's all the user sending from the front end and that's pretty much all we have to store in the database. So we're gonna do a category and this one's gonna be a type of string and it is gonna be required. And then what else? We're gonna do trim true to trim any white spaces And then uh, max max length of 50 characters. All right, just like that. And then here for the second argument, we want to do timestamps and set it to true. By setting this to true, every time a new instance of a new category is created, automatically. Uh, Mongoose will create a time created and an updated stamp. Okay, so next thing, let's go ahead and create, let's see, category is going to be Mongoose uh, model. And then this one takes two arguments. All right, so for the first argument, is going to be the name of the model, and we're going to call it category. And for the second argument, it's going to be the schema. I want you to know that right now I'm calling this ca is capitalized category. However, Mongoose, when you create a new um, a new instance, it automatically is going to um, um, Create this C into is going to lower is going to create all the is going to make all the letters lowercase, and it's going to turn this from a singular to a plural. Okay, so currently I have category, but by, uh, what they're going to do is they're going to say categories. So you'll see in the collections once we uh, create our first category, I'll show you exactly what I'm t referring to. Okay, so that is it. Uh, yeah, so that's it for, for now. Um, let's actually, before we finish up here, uh, in the controllers, because this controller, this is where we're going to have our database logic. So let's go ahead and take care of that and import that for now. Uh, so let's do const category and then require. And we got to go back one directory go into the models and then category all right so now we can make use of this category model all right this is a short video and but that's all we need for now for creating the model and we'll continue on in the next video